How you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm playing a very series of videos I've been doing for the while. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. Check it out. It's another back room review. I don't do a lot of reviews for my back room anymore. When I first started out my channel, I exclusively did them from my back room. And then I slowly shifted more and more into the car, despite the fact that I originally was like, I'm not going to be one of those people that review stuff from their car. <laughs> Call me a hypocrite. It happens. It's just easier. But anyway. Uh, folks, it's super simple format. Uh, I'm going to go over there with my trout food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, since I am in my back room, got my Peter Can Thunderbolt poster back there. Also got my mask up there. Marvel figures aren't up there anymore, and crappy old ladder is not off to the side. Crappy old ladder is off in another room. Uh, and aside from all that, folks, what else am I doing for you? Well, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! It's my... It, it's kind of hard to... Yeah. It's my Born of Osiris shirt, specifically from their 2023 tour that I... Just was at yesterday at the time I'm doing this. I uploaded a whole bunch of videos. Yeah, uh, Born of Osiris, I was aware of them. Certainly heard the name. I didn't even realize they were an Illinois band. And they were playing with a band called The Browning, who I've wanted to see for a long time. And, man, they fucking killed it. Like, the whole show was badass. Like, every band was fantastic. Uh, but the Browning and Born of Osiris really were the ones that really kind of took it home for me. Again, despite all the bands being very cool. And I like I I walked away from that becoming a much bigger fan of Born of Osiris than I was previously. Because I just knew a few of their songs. But anyway, that aside, folks. What am I reviewing for you today? What are we doing here? Well, folks... Just as Born of Osiris is a local band, well, I'm going to be trying something from a local institution. Because, folks, we're reviewing... Boom! It's, it's this thing, but you can't see because it's in the thing. So let's take it off. And apparently I get a bonus french fry for some reason. Okie doke. It is... Ah, boom! It's these! What are these? These are Italian beef and hot Giordanera Arancini from Giordano's. If you are unfamiliar with Giordano's, uh, Giordano's is like one of the sort of main kind of pillar pizza places in Illinois. Uh, you know, you've got like Lou Malnati's, Gino's East kind of to a lesser extent, and then of course you have like Pizzeria Uno and stuff like that. Giordano's is like one of like the big like major ones, and they are not as like local as like P or Pizzeria Uno in, in terms of like they're more spread out across the state, whereas Pizzeria Uno is more specifically Chicago-ish kind of area, for the most part. And I actually grew up being a big Giordano's fan. Uh, they kind of fell off a little bit. They had some financial issues and stuff. But I decided, you know what, man, it's been a while. I was looking up their menu. These are a brand new item. They sound delicious. Because you got Italian beef, perfect. Giordanera, which if you're unfamiliar, it's like an Italian relish, but like the... Um, Illinois has their own style of it, you know, it's kind of similar but different than the traditional stuff. And Arancini's are basically like little fried rice balls, so it sounds super good. So let's see if we can't get a thing for the thing. Oh god. <laughs> can we get a thing for the thing? <laughs> let's try out a thing. And I'm going to try one out plain first, then I got a couple of sauces over there, we'll give it a go. Oh man, that's super good. That is properly filled too. I mean, you can see. That's basically just a full on bread and meatball. And it's all coming through too. Like, you can tell that it's an Italian beef. It's got Italian beef, man. The way it's spiced, there's just something about it. Like, there's nothing else on the planet that tastes quite like Italian beef. And then you got the Hagia Danera, which is 
gives it a nice texture. As you get those kind of crunchy bits of, you know, like the sport peppers and stuff that they put in the uh, in the relish mix. That's really good, man. <laughs> French fry. I'm also really hungry. Fries good too. I don't think I've ever had fries from uh, Giordano's. House. I know, man. I'm seriously, these are really good. Like they're fried up properly. The texture is nice. Like they hold together on the outside, but you bite into them, they're nice and soft. And just immediately, you get this like full rush of just, you know, Italian beef and Giordano flavor. Again, you know, and then of course you got like the rice and the fried aspect. So it's it's really good. I really do have to commend them too, because like not only is this like one of the most Chicago side dishes you could ever come up with, um like this could have been a throwaway thing. If this had been from like a big, big chain, like your Domino's, your Pizza Hut, these things would have been this fucking big. They would have been half filled with something vaguely resembling what the hell ever. But no, you know, again, I kind of fell off Giordano, uh, Giordano's uh, just because, you know, like I said, it just kind of seemed like after all their financial issues and stuff, wasn't getting the same level of quality. I'm happy I gave them some time to come back around. I am going to be reviewing one of their pizzas after I get done with this. I wanted to start with these. Um, but it's nice to see that at least as far as this is concerned, they're coming back proper. Because that is just super good, man. It's tasty the whole time you're eating it. And it doesn't feel like filler. It's got that hit of Chicago. They're just really good. I will say, I forget exactly how much I paid for them. They did cost a little bit. That's one thing about Giordano's. Like, and, you know, to be fair, everything is raised up in price, inflation, and all that stuff. But they are a little bit pricier. Um, so then we got, I'll do a little bit on the sauce. Looks like we got some marinara. And I think we got some some Italian beef sauce. So let's see. That's good. Good marinara. Yeah, that might even just be straight their pizza sauce. I don't know. Let's try one with the marinara, see if it improves things or diminishes things. The marinara isn't bad, but honestly, because I think I did, I think I did a review of some Arancini a while ago, or no, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just Facebook posted that. But like I've had Arancini before. The Pizza Hut by my house used to offer it as a side, and like that, you definitely wanted some sauce. With these, these are already so moist and so juicy. I kind of feel like the marinara doesn't really add much. It just kind of takes away from the already super good flavor. But let's also go with the, yeah, this has got to be the beef sauce. Yeah. So, like, if if you've never had a proper Italian beef, like, it has this, this like, just sauce that it just marinades in. And if you want to do it properly, you get that shit dipped in the sauce. So, in the spirit of that. And, of course, it got on my shirt. Why wouldn't it? That's the winner. That's the full-on winner right there, man. Don't worry about the marinara or the pizza sauce or whatever it was. It's fine. It's not bad tasting sauce. Get something else to dip it in. It'll be tasty. Take the, one of these. Dip it in this shit. Because that is the fucking business, man. That is so good, it's ridiculous. 
Okay. Um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? Hell yes and hell yes. I think for me, you know, like I said, I still got a pizza to review from Giordano's. And fundamentally, that needs to be their thing. It's great if these taste good and everything, and they do, but I need that to work. That's going to be my deciding factor if I, you know, start to frequent them again to some extent. But, I will say this was a hell of a showcase. I think these are fucking fantastic. Again, I think they nicely represent the Chicago food scene. Then on top of that, they are coming from one of sort of the, you know, the Illinois slash Chicago pizza institutions that we have here. And yeah, man, it's like, again, they could have copped out on this so hard, but they didn't. They gave you multiple options of stuff you wanted to go with. Again, go with the fucking, uh, the Italian beef sauce. It's fucking good, man. That was just, seriously, I, would, I was expecting I'd probably like them because they sounded amazing. But, like, I didn't think I was going to like them as much as I did. And I really liked them. Uh, if I'm recommending them... You know, if you happen to be an Illinois resident, or I don't know, I think they actually have Giordano's, excuse me, outside of Illinois. Which, by the way, all of this being, I know they do have, like, out-of-state ones. I'm still going to consider this a, uh, as part of my sampler platter local love playlist. So, that's just a playlist for, like, more, like, Illinois spots and stuff and everything. But, yeah, man. I think if you're somebody who's already kind of in the area, you're familiar with the flavors... Give it a shot, man. You know, maybe even if you're like myself, where you've been a little bit kind of here or there with Giordano's, these are worth the give. These are worth a go, because they're proper. They're genuinely proper. Anyway, five things for you guys. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Spendous rest of your year. Folks, you go over there and have yourselves a truly don't spill stuff on your brand new Born of Osiris fantastic shirt. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you gotta do, folks. You're gonna try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole, especially when you're spilling stuff on your brand new Born of Osiris shirt. Ah. It's fine, it's a black shirt. That's one of the nice things about going to heavy metal concerts and buying shirts from them. 90% of them are, are black of some variety, which works out nicely for me. Because not only, you know, I spill stuff on myself occasionally, but I'm also fat, and this helps. Anyway. Uh, when we deal with situations in our life that are stressful, frustrating, etc., take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very funnel thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe, you know, if, hey, I will say this, Illinois gets a bad rap for a lot of things, and I'm not saying that some of those things aren't dead on honest, there's no two ways about it, but I will say... Don't think we're that bad. And maybe, if you're so inclined, hey, take a trip out to Illinois, enjoy the food scene, enjoy the music. Be a lot of, you know, I'm not trying to be all touristy for fucking, you know, Illinois and Chicago. But, I mean, hey, it's the state that I live in. I gotta give it some props. Um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of really solid things. And I'm not saying come straight to Chicago for Giordano's. There's other pizza places I might recommend before them. But hey, maybe if you stick around long enough, or maybe if you made a few trips, eh, maybe on your second or third trip, give them a go. Or maybe you just have a really great local scene wherever you are, and that's fantastic too. And maybe at some point in time, I'll hop out there. Who knows? Bye.